served hot or cold, couscous is a perfect summertime dish that you could make ahead of time. And the recipe we're going to show you today uses lots of fresh herbs from your garden. Chef Heidi Lang is a cooking instructor, and she's back with us today. So this is a perfect summertime dish, isn't it? It is indeed, because you can serve it, as you said, hot, cold, or room temperature. It uses herbs from the garden, and it has some surprising ingredients that just make the food come alive and just pop. And it's a healthy dish. It is a healthy dish. This is um, low in calories, um, but high in flavor. And we're using something really special today, something called preserved lemons that a lot of people don't know about. We're going to just do, show you how to make them, but we'll also put them on our blog so you can see a step-by-step -step visual of how it works. Let's talk about your blog. What else is on? Where can we find it? Well, it's called it's, uh, figtestkitchen.com, all one word. And we have a lot of these kinds of recipes where we show you step-by-step in -step pictures um, and very easy instructions on how to make interesting foods like this and sometimes very simple foods and sometimes oh, silly foods. So this, uh, the preserved lemons, we're going to put on there so you can see. And this recipe, of course, will be on WTNH also. All right, let's make some couscous. So, I like this. Yeah, so uh, first we, uh, we already uh, preheated these um, uh, scallions. So they've already been cooking for about uh, two minutes, so they're just glassy, okay? okay? And once that heats up, we're going to actually, it's heated up now, um, we're just going to pour this uh, um, Broth, broth on it, is and it once that broth, broth chicken broth, or if you're a vegetarian, you can easily use uh, vegetable broth. Okay. If you use vegetable broth, it will just be a little more brown, but it's delicious. Great. So once this comes to a boil, um, we are going to then add this couscous. In the meantime, I'm going to show you how to do this. How now to this make this is going to be a fun lemon. little ingredient that we put into the couscous. Yes. Now here's the thing. You know when you look at a recipe and you say uh, it comes something like preserved lemons or lemongrass or some of these other things that seem really odd to kind people. Of deters you you a know what you bit. say? Oh, I'm not going to make that. And you turn the page. <laughs> sure. So, um, but you know, a lot of these things aren't actually hard. It's like when a doctor uses a big word. Okay. It doesn't mean that it's the, that you've got a terrible disease. Same thing here. So this is really easy. We're going to cut the bottom of the uh, lemons okay and then we're going to slice it like this in four squares okay so you see you've got four squares and not here. all the way through not though. all the way through if you cut it all the way through don't waste the lemon it's okay. fine and then you're going to take salt there's a quarter cup of salt in this whole thing we put a crumb a, a tablespoon or so in the bottom of here okay. and then you just get your kids will love to do this too you just shove it in okay wow. and you put in as many as you can and when we finish this when we finish this all up, mm -hmm. it will be all full. If we have time, maybe, maybe Teresa, you'll try to do this. Sure. Now this is boiling, so I need Teresa. I need you to pour this in, and then Are we do it all of it. In? All of it. In. There's one and three quarter cups of uh, of couscous in here. Okay. And then just give it a quick stir. Yes, I'll now, do that. Now the thing is, this is just like making good rice. You don't want to over stir it. Once it's stirred, we're going to cover it, and I use minute rice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever made real rice. <laughs> so once you, okay, now that's perfect. Okay. So we're going to shut it off. And you leave it? it. This is, we're going to do something called steeping. This is going to sit for 15 minutes, and oh my goodness, because that's what we have oh, here. Oh, the beauty of A TV. finished product, that's right, the, the magic of so tea. So steeping, steeping, TV. what did you say? Steeping is when you just let it, uh, steeping is when you let it sit and okay. absorb the liquid. Learned same thing happens. Here. Yeah, same Heidi. thing happens with uh, rice and other things too. Okay, so this is what it will look like okay. once it's been steeped. Okay, so you're going to fluff it. So fluff this, okay. and in the meantime, I'm going to put in the other ingredients, which are the cranberries, dried cranberries. If you don't have dried cranberries, no worry. You can use um, raisins or even like maybe yellow raisins. Oh my Does that God. work? Raisins of any sort, any dried fruit. If you okay. like apricots, Ooh. put in apricots. Just chop them fine. Okay. So we're going to put some mint. Fresh right mint from, your from garden. our Let's organic talk about garden. Your garden. What do you have in there? Well, we have. Oh, um, I smell that already. You That's smell great. That? Yeah. And then we've got fresh parsley here too. So you can put in as little or as much of uh, herbs as you like. And the same thing with the dried fruits. Now we use today um, uh, almonds, okay. but we could use pistachios. We could oh. use walnuts. If you're allergic, of course, you won't use any. Now here is the preserved lemon. Do you want to smell mm -hmm. this? So it's lemon with a little bit of salt, but I still smell sweetness. It's tangy. Okay. It's, it's tangy and a little sweet. Now, how so, long did that sit for? I mean, typically. This, here's the finished product. Yes. And this sat for a month. You want to put it in a cool place, and when you tighten it, uh, we'll try to, we'll show you how to do that. Um, you want to just tighten it good. It's, this is not like canning. Okay. We are not, um, we are not going to be um, What else boiling. can we use this for, Heidi? Oh, uh, well, we put it over salmon. 
Oh. And the same thing, we use the same kind of herbs, and if you add a little yogurt, mix it in, you could put it in while it's baking, or even afterwards, it's really up to you. Yeah. Um, so it has a very interesting taste, and we put everything in here, do we have everything in here? Yeah, that's it. Um, so that's the full product. Now, if you were product. to warm this up, or to eat it hot, you would warm it, You I'm would assuming? just warm it. Okay. And then, you know, now, it's, uh, now that she, now that you fluffed it, well, we, <laughs> that's what you do when, when you, after it's steeping, see now it's just sitting like this, and you oh, see how okay. it's all the liquids being absorbed? Yes. Okay, so after that, again, it's important to fluff it, otherwise it will just be mushy. Got it. If you like your couscous a little drier, this is this recipe is moist, you can add a little less broth. Got it. And if you don't want to use any broth at all, you can use, you can use water, it just won't have the same taste. You can taste. improvise a little bit. Yeah, we like to have, in Fig Cooking School, we always like to have things that have a lot of vibrant taste. So we, the more flavor, the better. Um, also, we're going to add then some um, uh, salt, salt to this, pep okay. salt and pepper. Mix it up. Uh, mix Tell this me up. about uh, cooking school. Is there going to be at the farmer's market right in Worcester Square? Oh, we are going to be at the farmer's market at, at Worcester Square this summer. Uh, at very, um, in June and July, August, and through the fall, we're going to be doing many cooking classes, teaching how people fun. how to make healthy foods and, and some techniques like the preserved lemon or many other things that people don't think to do, like how to sear, mm -hmm. you know, simple things like that that can make your food just pop. I have a feeling I probably so. should go to one of those classes there, Heidi. <laughs> well, because those will be very simple. Our regular classes are a little longer than mm -hmm. that, um, but the same pr uh, principle holds. Got it. Um, so